NCIS Season 20 is currently full swing, but one old favorite has been conspicuous in his absence lately. Donald Ducky Mallard used to be a show regular and is the only character said to appear in every season so far, but some have suggested he could be the next actor to leave the show. Today, we're discussing Ducky and why he hardly appears on NCIS now, as well as his most heartbreaking moment. Stay tuned. Let's get straight into it. What do we know about Ducky's absence? Well, it might shock viewers of the show to find out that the Ducky actor David McCallum is actually 89 years old, although he doesn't look it. However, this is known to be half of the reason why McCallum hasn't appeared in the show of late. Having first appeared on NCIS in the pilot episode back in 2003, Ducky remained an ever-present up until season 15, when he started to appear less and less. This led fans of the show to suggest that he was about to be killed off at any given point. Of course, Ducky still appears here and there to provide his expertise, whilst also treating fans to one of his quirky bow ties. But it's hard to see the show carrying on without both Gibbs and Ducky. However, we believe that McCallum and Ducky are here for the foreseeable future, yet albeit in a reduced capacity. We saw Ducky retire from his role as M.E. during season 15, but the show's bosses found a way to have him cameo in future seasons as he was given the position of NCIS historian. Ducky was replaced by Jimmy Palmer after season 15, but rumors of his exit from the show persisted, with some suggesting he could be killed off whilst others claimed he was set for a hard retirement. Of course, Ducky is a father figure to many of the show's big characters, including Jimmy, and his expertise is still clearly valued. What else do we know? Let's see. David McCallum actually addressed the reasons for his reduced role, and it basically comes down to what we touched on earlier. McCallum's advancing years mean he simply has different priorities these days and wants to spend more time with his family, including his six grandsons. He took to Facebook to explain after season 15, saying, I'm delighted to say that I've reached an agreement with CBS for Dr. Donald Mallard to stay with NCIS for season 16. Once again, it will be a limited schedule. That arrangement will allow me to spend time with Catherine, our children, six grandsons, and Nikki, his cat. We imagine being around all those on-screen dead bodies day in and day out could be a little difficult, but having started his career in his late 50s, it's also likely that he doesn't feel up to a full-time schedule any longer, which is understandable. At 89, McCallum probably isn't going to reverse his decision and take on a full-time time role once again, so fans will probably just have to settle for the limited, albeit sporadic appearances he's made over the past four or five seasons. Hopefully, we get to see him do his thing once or twice in the current season too. We can probably expect that when the day comes for Ducky to finally bow out for good, Gibbs will be on hand to wish him a happy retirement. At least, we hope so. What do you make of Ducky's limited appearances these days? Next up, we're discussing Ducky's most heartbreaking moment. Donald Ducky Mallard has had his fair share of episodes to moments over the course of his NCIS run, but one scene above all sticks out as his most tear-jerking moment. The season 9 finale back in May 2012, entitled From Death Do Us Part, saw Ducky sadly stricken with a heart attack as he took a call informing him that there had been an attack on the NCIS building. Ducky was informed that his expertise would be needed to perform autopsies. Of course, this shocking news was simply too much for the old man's ticker, and he sadly experienced a life-threatening heart attack. This was a lot for fans to deal with, as many on Reddit claimed that this scene was head and shoulders above any other in the list of Ducky's most heartbreaking moments. Fans were then forced to wait an entire summer to find out if Ducky had survived, and would have been seriously worried that one of the most beloved NCIS characters of all time was about to bow out. Thankfully, the NCIS ME made a full recovery from his unexpected health scare, and we were treated to many more seasons of odd Ducky behavior, which included him talking to his subjects, for want of a better word. Do you agree that this was the most heartbreaking Ducky moment? Let us know below. Next up, we're looking back at the tragic death of David's son. You may or may not know that McCallum lost his son Jason back in 1989 following an accidental drug overdose, and for one reason or another, the Scottish actor has decided to remain largely silent on the topic over the years. He has, however, on occasion, spoken of his intense loss, and a few years back took part in an interview with the Irish newspaper, the Belfast Telegraph. Jason, who was adopted by David and his then-wife Jill as a child had unfortunately been struggling with addiction for some time, and David explained, You never come to terms with the death of a child. The pain is very real, but it's like an ache that turns into anger. Of course, anyone who's ever experienced the very specific loss of losing a child will know what McCallum is talking about. He went on to say, At the same time, there's a frustration that you couldn't really have done anything about it, which makes it even worse. However, McCallum was reflective when he admitted that there 
there wasn't much she could have done to stop Jason's choices, revealing that you just have to accept it. There's little chance David's pain will ever fully leave him, with him admitting that the tragedy still haunts him, before going on to deride the drug culture and show business people. However, there was a silver lining as shortly after his death, David found out his son had fathered a son, Tori, with a woman he'd been living with. Next up, we're discussing his status as the last remaining original. Stay tuned. Plenty of great actors have graced the show over the years, but as Mark Harmon stepped down as the iconic Leroy Jethro Gibbs last season, that meant David McCallum's Ducky took his place as the last remaining original cast member from the pilot nearly 20 years ago. It's understood that Ducky will appear in the same, if not more, amount of episodes this time around, and the crew will be hoping he stays on, if only for the fact that it means they still have at least one remaining link back to the old days. It's hardly surprising McCallum is the last remaining member, considering the show is almost two decades old. Most long-running shows replace their cast eventually, but for one so long in the tooth, McCallum's longevity is a credit to himself and his family. If McCallum was to be replaced or retire, then that would signal the end of an era for many fans. So show bosses probably consider it pretty important that at least one of the original cast members sticks around. So why shouldn't it be Ducky? David has seen plenty of heavy hitters come and go over his time, and will probably remember all the way back to the first victim of the demanding schedule as Sasha Alexander, Caitlin Todd, left at the end of season one. Who's been your favorite character? And finally, some good and bad news. Nicholas Torres himself, Wilmer Valderrama, recently took to Instagram to reveal that an NCIS universe first was on the horizon. He posted a selfie to Instagram, which included not just his own castmates from NCIS, but also some other cast members from NCIS Hawaii, as well as NCIS Los Angeles in what is said to be a three-way crossover. Of course, this has never been done before, and fans of the show cannot wait to see what the production team behind this one does with it. Unfortunately, though, it's not all good news, as the crew has dashed fans' hope that Mark Harmon could return to the show by completely removing all trace of him from the credits. Of course, he appeared in the opening shots of the hit procedural drama for 19 seasons, but following his character's retirement to Alaska in the early part of last season, he's now been removed for good. Fans have continually pined for his return ever since he left, basically, but this latest news will will only serve to prove to fans that it is highly unlikely Harmon will return to the fold in any sort of capacity, at least for the foreseeable. Were you guys hoping he would return? Let us know below. As always, thanks for dropping in on us today, and remember to tune in again next time for some more fun and games. And why not do us a big favor by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Bye guys!